Hi guys, in this video we are going to be looking at factors and multiples of numbers. So the topic of this video is factors and multiples of numbers. There are two topics here. The first topic is factors and the second topic is multiples. So we are going to have three parts to this video. In the first part we are going to look at factors. In the second part of the video we are going to look at prime factors. Okay. And then in the third part of this series, we are going to look at multiples of numbers. So let's go ahead to look at this first part, which is factors. What is a factor of a number? Or what are factors of a number? A factor of a number can divide that number without a remainder. Okay? So if I want to know if a number is a factor of another number, usually a bigger number, then that smaller number can divide a bigger number without leaving a remainder. If after we've divided, there is a remainder, then we know that the smaller number is not a factor of the larger number. So example, if we look at something like this, 10 divided by three, okay? 10 divided by three. Remember, a factor of a number can divide the number without a remainder. So if 10 oranges is being shared by three boys, each boy is going to get three oranges. Three multiplied by one is going to give us three. Three multiplied by two is going to give us six. And three multiplied by three is going to give us nine. However, three multiplied by four is going to give us 12. And 12 is more than 10. Okay, that means if the three boys share 10 oranges, at the end of the day, each boy is going to have three oranges. And one will be left, right? So the boys will have three oranges each and one will be left. This means that three is not a factor of 10 because three will leave a remainder when it divides 10. What about 10 all over 2? This means 10 oranges is being shared by two boys. In this case, will there be a remainder? Let's see. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. And 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. This means that when two boys share 10 oranges, each boy will have five oranges. And what will be left? Nothing. Because 10 divided by 2 is going to give you exactly 5. Okay? So the factor of a number is that number that can divide that particular number without leaving a remainder. Okay? So we are going to see how to find the factors of a given number. So example, find the factors of the following. So let's see some examples. A, let's find the factors of 12. B, let's find the factors of 32 and C. Let's find the factors of 56. Okay, so we have three numbers that we are going to look out for their factors. The first one is 12, the second one is 32, and the third one is 56. So we are going to look out for all the numbers that can divide these three numbers separately without leaving a remainder. So let's pick the first one, A. We have 12. The first thing you need to know about factors is the smallest factor of every number is 1. So 1 is the smallest factor of every number. So at this end of the list, you have 1 there as the smallest factor of a number, every number. And then second thing you need to note is the number itself is the largest factor of itself, okay? So the number in question is also a factor of itself and is the largest. So on the other end, we have the number itself, and in this case, the number is 12. So our task at this point is to fill in the space between 
the smallest factor of the number and the largest factor of the number. So we've gotten one as the smallest factor. We step up by one, which is two. Is two a factor of 12? Can two divide 12 without leaving a remainder? Let's see. Two multiplied by one, two. Two multiplied by two, four. Two multiplied by three, six. Two multiplied by four, eight. Two multiplied by five, 10. Two multiplied by six will give you 12. That means when two divides 12, you are going to get exactly six. This means two things. It means that two is a factor of 12, and it also means that six is also a factor of 12. So at this point, we put two, and at this other end, we put six. So we've gotten four factors of 12. We step up again. We've, we are done with one, we are done with two. The next thing we are gonna look at is three. Is three a factor of 12? Let's see. Three multiplied by one, three. Three multiplied by two, six. Three multiplied by three, nine. And three multiplied by four, 12. This means that three is a factor of 12 because when 12 is divided by three, it gives you exactly four. This also means that three is a factor of 12 and four is a factor of 12. So we write down three here and we also write down four. But after four, there's a number between four and six. Can it be a factor? What number is that? Five. Is five a factor of 12? Let's see. Five multiplied by one, five. Five multiplied by two, 10. Five multiplied by three, 15. This means that after you've gotten five multiplied by two, 10, it jumps to 15. We can tell that five is not a factor of 12. Because when 5 divides 12, it's going to leave a remainder of 2. So we've gotten all the factors of 12. Let's write them down properly. So the factors of 12 of 12 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 itself. So all these are factors of 12. What did we learn from this? First thing we need to remember is every number has a factor of 1 as the smallest factor and every number has a factor of itself as the largest factor. So that is the first thing we need to note. Second thing we need to note is when we want to find the factors in between, we move from 1, we try out 2, we try out 3, we try out 4, and then till we get to a point where we've gotten to half of the number. Here you see that we've gotten a factor of half of 12. So once you get to half of it, there is no other factor in between itself and the half of itself. Okay, so let's look at the second one. Let's look at B. B is factors of 32. Okay, so remember we said in the first example, the first factor of a number is 1. And the second major factor of a number is itself, which is 32 here. We've gotten the fact that 1 and 32 are factors of 32. The next thing we are going to check out is 2. Is 2 a factor of 32? Yes. It's a factor because 2 multiplied by 16 is going to give you 32. This means that 2 is a factor of 32 and 16 is a factor of 32. We'll try the next number, which is 3. 3 multiplied by 10 is going to give you 30. 3 multiplied by 11 is going to give you 33, which is larger than 32. This means that 3 is not a factor of 32. We'll try the next one, which is 4. Is 4 a factor of 32? Yes. 4 multiplied by 8 is going to give us 32. This means that 4 is a factor of 32 and 8 is a factor of 32. So we have 4 and we have 8. The next number we are going to try is 5 on the series. 5 multiplied by 6 is going to give us 30. 5 multiplied by 7 is going to give us 35. It doesn't multiply to give us 32. This means that 5 is not a factor of 32. So the next number we're going to try is 6. Is 6 a factor of 32? 6 multiplied by 5 is going to give us 30. 6 multiplied by 6 is going to give us 36. This means that 6 is not a factor of 32. Is 7 a factor of 32? No. Because 7 multiplied by 4 is going to give you 28. 7 multiplied by 5 is going to give you 35. So the next number is 8. So we now have all the factors of 32 as given here. So this means factors 
of 32 will be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32 itself. If you observe closely, you discover that once you get to half of the number, there is no other factor in between. Here, once we go to 6, no other factor in between. So I'd like to leave this third one as a classwork. I'd like to see your answer in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye.